validation-based metric definition. This video demonstrates how to create validation-based metric definitions and calculate them using a metric table. From product version 19.0 SP2, model validation and metrics work together, allowing you to quickly understand which elements are behind validation-based metric values. Metric creation is now much easier because you can reuse existing validation rules to calculate them. After you create a metric suite, you can start creating validation-based metric definitions. Create a validation-based metric definition. Now, open the specification window of the validation-based metric definition. Use the validation rule property to specify the validation rule that will be used to calculate metrics. Select the type of the metric you want to calculate. Optionally, you can enter the name of the menu item that displays failing elements according to the validation rule. Let's create another validation-based metric definition with a different metric type. Now that you have specified validation-based metric definitions for the metric suite, you can start calculating metrics using a metric table. Right-click the element for which you need to calculate metrics of a particular metric suite and select Metric Table. Now select the desired metric suite. As you can see, the table for the metric suite is created and already filled with data. Right-click the Metric Table cell, displaying the metric calculated according to the selected validation rule. Select Display Unsatisfied Requirements. All failing elements are now displayed in the Validation Results panel. Thank you for watching.